All right, you guys. Um, thank you to Divine the Seer, um, Divine Wisdom of the Seer, for sharing this with us this night. Um, it looks like this lawyer, you guys, is um, these lawyers are suing. Thank you, God. There's um, they're talking about this pandemic that we're in the midst of, and apparently globally, people are being harmed in ways you guys can't even imagine. So these lawyers are now standing up for us, as it's known as crimes against humanity, right? So, attention office of Interpol, um, the fraud department, the International Criminal World Court, the Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines. Um, guys, now I'd like to start with a prayer here. Heavenly Father, God, we pray, put a hedge of protection around all the people globally, aid Donald Trump and all that is good, the Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines and make sure the people are protected as we go through this journey. Um, I also like to start with a scripture, Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Now, Thank you to each and every one of you for sharing with us here. Attention Office of Interpol, um, the International Criminal World Court, the Army, the Navy, the Military, the Marines, Donald Trump, um, the Federal Trade Commission heads for the Antitrust Department. Also, um, Louis DeJoy doing business as Postmaster General. Uh, uh, also, Jay Clayton doing business as head for the Securities and Exchange Commissioner. And also, Joseph Odding doing business as head for the Office of Comptroller of Currency, and all that is good, the Universal Postal Union heads. I come to you in good faith in one's proper person as a living flesh and blood, sentient being Suri Jurisuri heiress, Moabite queen, Rubenite tribe chief, American Indian, Alolio Tunnel Morish American national. Go now quickly as delay is danger. Go and protect the people in the Philippines who has been reported to us here. Um, some time ago, we talked about this briefly that they were being um, targeted um, fatally for not being not wearing the mask or not wearing the mask properly. They're being shot in the head. Um, also, um, other parts of the globe in Australia, they're being detained and arrested for not wearing the mask. Also here in this territory, they're being detained in Jamaica, Northern Mariana Islands um, for not having on the mask. It was reported to us on Friday or um, a couple days prior that people have been detained for not wearing a mask um, and other parts of the globe people are being targeted go now quickly remove all the masks from the planet globally make a public um, announcement remove all those agents doing business as genocide um, treason racketeering fraud peonage war crimes against humanity apartheid identity theft state land theft sex trade um sex trade human trafficking um slave trade go now quickly and round them up this night in the name of all that is good globally in the name of almighty god now um some people have reported to us that they were being targeted and stuff by homeland security homeland security agents those who are heirs and moors and nationals who have their moorish american identification cards Sim simply direct them if they have to get the do not detain, cease and desist, or a um, state passport. Direct them to getting that instead of deporting them to other parts of the islands, Caribbeans, and what have you, where they're not accustomed to and they, they're not domiciled. Um, they have been reared in the, the so-called United States, Morocco, Maghreb, the North Gate. See to it now that they are set free and able to travel without interference, right? As it's been um, shared with us recently, some um, maps and stuff, and thank you to Copper Aborigines. I'm going to read some of the comment sections in a second, right? Now, in the last video we created, we were bombarded with people saying that wasn't um, the original John Hansen. So I'm going to read now, and just international authorities sent to us their proper pictures and stuff, photos. So when we make it public, the people who know the history can comment and tell us whether it's um, correct. Why isn't this in the history books? This is the um, original territory names, Algonquin, Cree, um, Oj Ojawea, 
um, Cree, Blackfoot, uh, Crow, Sioux, uh, Shoson, Shoson, and Apache Creek. You guys can see. I'm going to try to see if I can bring up the map a little bit more so you can see it clearly. And then, um, yeah, so you'll know, right? So prior to these places being named as North Carolina, New York, and all these other um, wardship status names of states, they were actually named as Indian tribal names. That's why we're American Indians, right? In addition to the fact it's also Morocco, Maghreb, the North Gate, and then Indian country, as you know, is global. America is global. It was a tribe, and that's what was reported to us, right? And here's Maya, um, yeah, Teano, uh, Seminelli, Aztec. Um, can you guys see that? So you can email us for this. You guys can email us um, for the GSA bond templates to set off matters, as well as the EIN um, status correction and... Um, yeah, the EIN, how to get a, a 98 EIN number. They also sent this to us, the Trail of Tears information as well, too. Um, yeah, you can email us. Remember to give these videos a like, share, subscribe, a thumbs up, and put a comment in the comment section. You guys go to Noble L the second, subscribe there as, um, yeah, we're giving the first channel Ah, time to get through what it's going through. The Noble L Channel, Trail of Tears, an infamous journey to the unfamiliar land when Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto first encountered the Cherokee in 1540. He found, uh, you guys comment below, tell us this, if this is true or not, um, a unified, peaceful uh, nation of about 25,000 people some 300 years later, almost to the year, the Cherokee became a divided nation of people with the little, with little remaining of their vast territory um, and national pride. The Cherokee coexisted peacefully with early settlers, um, but the, the white man's lust for gold and land was all-consuming, and between 1684 and 1835, over 30 treaties clipped, chipped away at their original 135,000 square miles of Cherokee territory. The Cherokee issue was hotly debated in Congress for many years. Sadly, speeches on behalf of the Cherokee by Henry Clay, Davy Crockett, Daniel Webster, and other prominent statesmen fell on deaf ears. President Andrew Jackson, whose life was ironically saved by Cherokee chief uh, June Alaska at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend in 1812 was the one who signed the final removal treaty, treaty beginning in the spring of 1837 and continuing through the fall of 1838. The Cherokee people were rounded up Uh, corralled into hastily con constructed stock stockades, so so began the Trail of Tears, a 1,200-mile journey to unfamiliar land under the command of General Winfield Scott. Over 600 wagon steam steamers, um, keelboats moved about 16,000 Cherokee by land and by river. The infamous journey took about took between 104 to 189 days, and before they arrived in Oklahoma, ter ter torrential rains, ice storms, disease, and broken heart heartedness had claimed the lives of at least 4,000 men and women and children. Uh, a Georgia soldier who took part in the removal wrote, I fought through the war between the states and have seen many shot but the Cherokee removal was the cruelest work I ever knew when Will Thomas and an adopted Cherokee purchased 56,000 acres, which eventually became the Kuala boundary where the Eastern band of Cherokee Indians now reside. Now, here's the thing, you guys. The Trail of Tears never ended, okay? Um, the indigenous people are still going through the Trail of Tears currently. It's now known as mortgages foreclosures. 
okay, child support cases, what have you. It's all designed to do the same thing. It's a state land theft. So when we say to you guys why we we were researching and they sent to us the GSA bonds and stuff, we were saying to you when you do it, keep in mind for reparations, for reparations, for reparations, right? You can email us here for those GSA bonds to remedy uh, child support cases, to set off child support cases, ticket citations, mortgages, foreclosures, auto loans, student loans. Also for those of you subject to seeing an agent doing business as parole officer, as well as those of you in the so-called churches doing business as jails for non-violent offenses, um, you can email us for the GSA bonds to set off set off the matter using the social security numbers and the birth certificate bond numbers. You see, when they created those birth certificates, they were really death certificates registered at 55 Water Street. That's what Donald Trump has been trying to help us get back to the organic constitution because they created another constitution overlapping ours, which is a corporate construct constitution back in the, I, they say the 70s, but it looks like it happened way before then right? Because the, the coup d'etat took place in 1861. In 1861, there was a coup d'etat, hence the Clearfield Doctrine that we talk about here. The 1942 Supreme Court case between the Clearfield Trust Company and the United States Corporation, right? Where the Clearfield Trust Company let the puss out the bag that there was a, uh, there was a coup d'etat that took place in 1861, where international agents, the Rockefellers, what have you, took over this, the Congress claiming to be international bankers, right? Told the Moors, the heirs, to get off their seats and, or die. Hence the video we made yesterday about the original president being John Hansen, which happened to be a Moor, right? So Copper Aborigines was explaining that wasn't his picture. He was actually um, a man from this other, um, doing business as sheriff and what have you. I'll read that in a second. So what um, we do here is provide remedy through our own experience and research, we too have been subject to the trail of tears by in our tribes through our um, family being subject to human trafficking, right? So a lot of our original um, ancestors were have been in the Americas for years upon years upon years. That's where they originate from. And then they were duped into agents that were selling um, immigration to different territories and hence they ended up in different areas of the Americas, right? Only then to be more subject to more undue hardship and um, more deception in terms of dissension and um, divide and conquer, which is where we are now, right? So to divide it up the tribes, um, not only in our tribe, but in other tribes as well too, and then they were subjected to a whole bunch of other atrocities. So you do the GSA bonds to get back the um, properties in that. And um, then you do the 1099 OID uh, templates that we share here with you to get back the finances they claimed you owed, right? Which is what we did. It took us a year um, to see. They tell us it's $2 million per charge. We didn't get back that much. But you guys can do the research and stuff and see if you can get back that as well, too. Because what they're telling us is reparations are coming. Um, that's what Donald Trump is working on now. From the Pope's letter when we had read earlier on the Noble L channel, subscribe to both channels. You guys go back to that channel. You'll be able to hear us read. The Pope did a letter back in 2014 to, to Barack Obama. In that letter, he was stating that it was $5 million per um, each of us that was subject to the said theft and then $2 million per um, injury, those of us who were subject to organ harvesting um, that they labeled as car accidents. And then we discovered that our spouses or our people were organ harvested. Those of you who are conscious and can look into what happened to your people, then you'll know about this organ harvesting that's been going on for years, right? So we also provide the do not detain affidavit, the cease and desist um, yeah, you can go to USFL for the de decease and desist, um, where he's explaining that you should have a state passport. So those of us conscious had written to the immigration heads in Canaanite land, Canada, uh, to send us what was required with the passport photos. 
and our Moorish American identification cards. And then we discovered that the deep state and a lot of these um, things going on was known as fraudulent conveyance of language. So what's happening now with Kamala and Biden, it's fraudulent conveyance of language, which we have been subject to for hundreds of years. So they tell you one thing to your face, but it's really something else going on behind the scenes, right? So, um, yes, you can write to us for the fraudulent conveyance of language laws. Also, the do not detain affidavit, the IRS status correction, and um, get the certificate of live birth from the vital statistics office. And then we were sent the proof of life. The proof of life is where we went to Netherlands online, right? And um, thank you to the powers that be for sharing that with us. And then we were sent information to send off to the ambassador. Um, I want to say here is Havana, because it looks like this territory, Northern Mariana Islands, is in fact, um, Cuba is very close to here, and it's Havana um, Embassy. So we had to send off stuff over there and also to Washington, D.C., which was the area that we chose because we'd sent a lot of stuff over there as well, too. So um, hence why we write to the Interna Internal Revenue Service agents at 1111 Constitution Avenue, um, Attention Office of William J. Wilkins, the Criminal Investigations Division, to go and look into this matter at hand. Is it a tax matter? Are we being subjected to fraud, um, tax fraud, as we do not wish to be a party to any ta said um, tax fraud matter? Go and see if these agents actually owe a tax, and is that what they're trying to take out the people in that um, to pay the said taxes on what's owed, right? So just so you're aware of what's going on that way. Um, yeah, so... You can email us at themullings at gmail.com for all that stuff. Um, in addition to the Chain to the Sky book for the to learn about doing U.S. postal money orders, as well as the Herbology book, which has a lot of herbs and stuff in it for natural remedies and a whole host of stuff you guys hear us talk about here, right? So you can email us for that. And um, yeah, so just... You guys comment in the comment section below. Tell us if this trailer tears, how it reads, if it's true. Because what we see is that it went on globally too, right? And so when Switzerland and those places were set up, these were the outs, what our angels and gods told us. These were the outlying areas that, um, that were in fact supposed to be given to our children right our children are the so-called caucasians we created them right now here's another map now you guys know our organic constitution was the iroquois confederation so here is the map and it's called the iroquois confederacy right and then you have the original names of the tribes i'm thinking right so you have the catskill mountains the mohawks the utica onida syracuse on Onondaga, um, you have the Lackawanna Path. Um, now this has New York, New Jersey, and Delaware. So this might have been a newer map, actually. When I'm reading it now, migrated join north to join the Confederacy about um, and the Mississauga. Oh wow, Mississauga tribes. So in Toronto, you go guys know there's an area called Mississauga. Uh, Southern Ontario, the Mississauga tribe, Southern Ontario by, so this must be all about Canaanite land, Canada, Pennsylvania, Delaware, um, New Amsterdam was New York City, you guys know that, right? Hudson, Albany, Al Albany, sorry, uh, 1643, and then you have, um, yeah, the lakes over here, Kawanawa, Montreal is up here, Ottawa is over here, St. Lawrence, Quebec, Ontario. And then over here now you have the Ojibwa, Ojibwa, yeah, approximate limit of um, Iroquois Confederacy, circa 1600, Tyendinaga. Now Tyendinaga, we're closer, we were domiciled. Tyendinaga has a um, reservation for the European Indians under wardship status where um yeah they have a lot of the, the cigarettes and stuff that you can get up there for um they make this their cigarettes right 
Now they were sending me a lot of cigarette ads and I want to say these were the older cigarettes. Um, hence why we were guided at one point to send our stuff over to the ATF. The ATF is the alcohol, tobacco and firearms, right? Um, don't do this part, but we had, um, we're doing some research and at that point we were doing the uh, birth certificates. I think we we're trying to get them authenticated and we were guided to the alcohol, tobacco and firearms. Um, section. Needless to say, they sent us back the stuff, which was really great. So here's the line between Canada and the U.S. over here. But yeah, this was interesting that they sent us this. And there was some other stuff they sent us about Pocahontas. Once we get that, we'll bring it up. And so yeah, go and listen to this guy. He'll explain to you about crimes against humanity and what the test is really about or what's really going on. Uh, with the so-called test, like, yeah, because there's so much stuff being reported to us that it's been downgraded to the common cold and the flu and stuff like that by the very same CDC and World Health Organization. So don't take my word for it. Go and do the research. Copper Averagee says, I think the first photo of that brown skinned man in the black and white photo is Bass Reeves, Reeves the Texas, Texas Marshal who served... Um, ever warned on now they're also reporting that walmart and a lot of these big companies are also collecting for the so-called blm you guys look into that those of you who are shopping at walmart go and ask them if it's true um and there's some other companies too um go and research that who served ever warned on everyone he was giving and brought them in alive or dead sister noble l if you decide to read the book of Deuteronomy, you will um, provide the true, provide to true um, those who can't or will not read for themselves. The Indian Removal Act is what caused the Trail of Tears. The Indian Removal Act is a war doctrine. It's a second half of the dumb divorces. I remember Grand Sheep Taj Tariq Bey talking about the dumb divorces often of 1553 by Pope Nicholas, I thought the fifth, connect the dots, um, the V is a five, right? The dots between these two doctrines, um, it's in our faces, but the old heads amongst us are putting these doctrines together by timelines. They show all the information, but they never connect it by timelines. So you'll all, y'all can fully see the big picture of what happened and continues to happen. They keep us in the mouse cage on the wheel that goes nowhere. It keeps us in the same position with no movement. Um, stagnation is a terrible thing. China is a group of people. See, that's what I was saying, you guys, when I was reading the U.S. Freedom of Information Act yesterday, it didn't read like they were talking about China as a country. They talked about China like it was a group of people because they kept saying that China wanted this and China wanted to have one uh, diplomat that they were dealing with. And I'm like, China is not a country. They're talking about a group of people. So I was trying to figure out who's the group of people that they're talking about named China. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what Copper Region has just confirmed to us. America is a group of people. It's the leadership of all those religious churches called government by the souls of the land. They look like us, but they are not like us. Yes, that's what we're seeing here. There's some agents doing business as police, international authorities. You must, must, must go and round them up now. They're on the roadway and what they're doing is extortion. So like, for instance, we were traveling around, you guys know, we have to do research as guided by the ancestors. And the people that were um, uh, traveling with us pointed out these agents and stuff and said they just go on the road and extort funds from people all the time. So you need to go, especially in this particular territory known as Savlamar, um, Westmoreland. They're just there daily on the roadway causing harm, which is why when people reported to us that 10 o'clock at night, around 10, 11, 11 o'clock at night, um, this lady's bar was robbed, right? Now, keep in mind, people, there's no one allowed to be on the road because of the curfew here. So I think the curfew is like 8 o'clock in the evening. 
So the question is, who, pray tell, could have robbed that woman's um, bar at 10 o'clock at night when none of the people are allowed to be on the roads? I'll wait. So international authorities go and investigate now because the angels have told us it was the very same agents doing business as police officers, and they're using the mask. People are telling us here that they're using the mask to go and rob the people. So this other woman was robbed recently in her establishment by someone wearing a mask who came in the store and she didn't realize that they were there to rob her, right? So you must, must, must go and remove that now. That's pertinent. Do that this night. Put out a, a public edict, edict that the people publicly, unless you're a doctor in a hospital or a nurse, you're not supposed to be wearing that on the roadway, period. In addition to the fact that they reported that they put some kind of fluoride uh, poison in the blue uh, mask that they're wearing. Um, yeah, those little cheap ones. Those ones have a toxin in them. You guys take them off, right? So do that on our, on our behalf now. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter. By Noble Honorable Ange, Elena D. Alfred, El Rubenai Tribe Chief, American Indian, Alodi Title Morris, American National, UCC 1-308 without recourse. All rights reserved. Thank you, Peter, saying Biden uh, may be a clone to be recycled as it's mal malfunctioning, which is common with the age accelerated clones. Um, Peter calls Obama <laughs> phonetic. Um, peace, love, Empress. Peace, love to you, Carly Bay. Um, thank you, Peter, for that. Thank you, Copper Aborigines. Thank you to JL. Thank you to Divine Wisdom of the Seer for uh, sharing that with us this morning and um copper aborigine says um the photo is a true portrait of john hansen but the source of information who um he was and where that information came from isn't true i know the man that got the photo of john hansen and where it came from and who brought the information about john hansen to our people i bet the author of the information can't tell you or anyone where they got that information and i'm sure they don't have the information but the first eight presidents of the con continental government for america and all the indian tribes before um the creation of the united states of america for george washington um the information was first uh, given to Dick Gregory in 1990. He was the third individual to see the information. The first individual to see the information about John Hansen was at this time, was at the time Empress of Washita. After she went to the United Nations, uh, number 192, and that the seat number, 11, the seat number for the Washita Indian nation of Louisiana, oldest known mound builders to date. The nation, this is the nation of Indians that took back uh, the Louisiana Purchase. The Louisiana Purchase never happened, you guys, because they didn't have enough funds to, to make the actual purchase. Uh, because there wasn't a purchase, it was a theft, no currency exchange between the Britons and French and French. So, uh, where's the receipt that the United States purchased the Northwest Territory from France or Canada? Um, Y'all still sleeping? Many of the descendants lived in the Ninth Ward that was blown up and caused that flood. That was in Louisiana. I want to say Katrina, right? I told y'all you still sleeping. Um, remember the Dones were doing the weather modification program that they took out recently below out here protesting for and all the commercial um about this election got y'all preoccupied with them still stealing our legacy from under us materialization is your god y'all haven't taken yourselves out into the wilderness to clear yourselves of these electronics and the ways of the world the scriptures tell us what to do but our today's generation of older strong youths and elders refuse to read the instructions given to us the descendants of the original people of the creator 
Um, Y'all are the ones who bring these strange beings to continue to rule over us because our people are stiff-necked. Okay, so thank you for that, Copper Aborigines. Um, yeah. So, somebody was saying that, um, I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, so, yeah, thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. By Noble, Honorable Ange, Elena D. Alpha, El Rubenite Tribe Chief. American Indian Lodial Title Morris American National UCC 1-308 without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth by my deceased husband, Oregon Harvested Jackson. Now, um, remember you guys to support us here. Go to PayPal at the at gmail.com. Thank you to each and every one of you for supporting us in this channel. Um, again, for the GSA bonds to set off matters and the 1099 OID, you can email us at the at gmail.com. And um, yeah. Go and do the research, you guys. Don't take my word for it. Remember to subscribe to the Noble L the Second channel, and also you can go back to the Noble L the First channel for um, remedies and things that we had implemented there. I want to thank the powers that be for implementing all these affidavits on our behalf uh, to date. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, remember to go and round up the heads over in Pennsylvania who have captured some of our heirs over there um, citing, um, fraudulent conveyance of language. Thank you for that and have a great day.